right, Black Box Radio, the Rona Report. We have the old school Bruja, Manette Williams. Hello, hello. It's good to be back at Black Box. Thank you for having me again. Tell the people who you are, sweetheart. Some people don't know you. I am Lynette Williams, the founder of Old School Bruja and the host of Old School Bruja Radio. I am a witch, psychic medium, spiritual practitioner, priestess, a past life regression therapist, death doula, and I'm a teacher of all things spiritual, embracing your spirituality, finding yourself again, healing from things. That's me. You would come to me at oldschoolbruja.com. Amazing. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. So what's good with you right now? What it has how has this uh event, the virus, corona, um, how has it affected affect your life, like your personal, your professional? How's it affecting you? Um, right now it doesn't it's not any different than how I would, you know, go about my everyday. I'm usually home all the time, working from home, isolated anyway. (laughs) I usually have to force myself to go out to be social so I have human contact (laughs) outside of my spiritual work all day long. So Mm -hmm. um, it's been nice. Uh, It's been a little quieter, which I'm grateful for. Um, I'm not in a panic mode because things are slowing down. I'm actually very present in knowing that we are going to be okay. We're going to be fine. Um, Very, very confident in that because that's what spirit keeps telling me every single day. But also I'm able to meditate longer. I'm able to um, be very present and aware of self and spending time at home, enjoying Quiet time is very quiet, and I love it. Well, it sounds like you're enjoying your hiatus. <laughs> so, like you're loving it. <laughs> I am. I I'm really um, I'm grateful because I did ask for some time to breathe because it became very hectic, um, in a good way. It was very very busy, and I was juggling a very busy schedule, and I knew that a break was needed very soon in order for me to keep going at the pace that I was going. Mm -hmm. So I am grateful for this time though. It's very scary and people are getting sick. People are dying. Mm -hmm. Um, I am continuing to give offering and prayer and light to those who are in need of it and calming their anxieties by offering divination and guidance and ways to heal yourself during this time. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this. It's, it's good for me. I need it right now. Okay. So, so we had to throw the whole world in a pandemic. (laughs) (laughs) For her to get some time. Ain't that something? (laughs) The whole world. Not half, the whole world. The whole (laughs) world. I mean, sometimes. You and your your prayers. Yeah. They are very strong. I have asked many times for the world to just stop for a second and be still so people can get closer to their spiritual practice. I've asked for that several times. Oh, but like I never asked for the pandemic, so so don't blame that one on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So let me ask you from like a spiritual position, because you said you say you're saying something like we're going to be okay, like you know something. So mm-hmm. kind of expound on that for the people. Okay. So uh, back in December, I had received word that we were going to be in a situation like this. And I had been posting about warnings. I was telling folks to get their immune system ready for what was to come, which kept showing up to me as what looked like a plague and that it was going to sweep the world. And I was getting it every single day. And then I was getting that we needed to change who we are as humanity, as humans. What we do now is so important in this time that we are shut down, that we are in this pandemic. We are being forced to be still, 
because we have to look at our character. We have to really connect with our spiritual practice on the deepest level. That means addressing things that we have not addressed within self, reconciling them and becoming closer to your spiritual higher self and your creator. Also, during this time, we are to give offering to our ancestors, ask them for wisdom and guidance. Also, spiritual cleansing during this time is huge. So fasting, staying in prayer, cleansing your spirit, your body, your home. Also, speaking life and love into things instead of being judgmental and negative. We really have to shift how we are towards ourselves, towards our own spirit and those around us. We have been a very negative people as a whole. We have been very destructive to Mother Earth as a whole. And we have worn her out, Mother Earth. We've worn her out. The the darker forces that have created this virus to shut us down, to hurt us, they also have a part in this and they will also learn from this as well. But we need to really work on self right now. We need to dedicate ourselves to being more compassionate and understanding and loving and really speaking, breathing, living what we preach and what, no matter what your practice is, you are supposed to be receiving things of words of peace and guidance and understanding, right? And and community. So right now you have to put all that into practice. There's no excuses. There's no room to say, I'll wait. I'm too busy. No, we're not busy at all. We're being forced to be still right now to acknowledge our spirit. This is a turn. There's a turning point in this. We have not crossed over yet. We're not out of the woods yet. We haven't reached the peak of this yet. The next two weeks are going to be crucial and crucial in the sense that things are going to change around us so much that we're going to be forced to change how we move in this world. But Mm. we are going to be okay. And the spirit of manifestation is all around us. Ogun, the the Orisha Ogun is around us, protecting us, protecting our homes. But if you are in good character, you will be fine. If you are not in good character, this is very, very difficult for you. Mm. What you got to say, Jane? Well, I mean, I think those are really uh, powerful insights that that you had. And I'm trying to figure out why ain't you call me when, like, I think <laughs> <laughs> we had our interview before you started getting this. You ain't called, you ain't hit me up and say nothing. You ain't tell us, like, <laughs> warn us, nothing. What's up with this? You supposed to help? Tell us. So, was, so here's what happened. Up. Here's what happened. And I haven't talked about it publicly yet because people are as I said, negative, and they immediately are like, yeah, whatever, you're trying to like get fame on something, you know, and and that's not how I work. So back in October, October 29th to be exact, I was sitting in my room and I had done my offering and prayer to my ancestors in Orisha for Sawin, Halloween, the Day of the Dead as well. And so As I'm sitting, my crown started hurting, the crown of my head. And then my third eye felt like it was ripping open, like my forehead was ripping wide open. And I started getting downloads and I told my roommate, I said, please just pass me a notebook because she just looked at me. She was like, you're not okay. What the fuck's going on? What's happening? I said, pass me a notebook, get the Florida water. So thankfully, she knows how to assist me when these things happen. So I started channeling spirit, but a number of spirits were coming through me and giving message. And I have an entire notebook that they gave that that, that I filled that night with messages that they gave me. Mm. And one of the messages was that there was white man's magic, dark magic, sorcery magic that's being thrown against us, the people, that this is how they said us, the people, and that it was to kill us. It was to destroy us 
through our chest. And we know the coronavirus is a respiratory infection. And then Mm. it said that it will not work, that it will backfire, and that more of them will die than us because Mm. we are stronger. And then it said, but it needs to happen in order for the world to change because humanity is off path. That was just one message out of hours and hours of being used in spirit to channel message that we are on a path. We were actually, we still are on a path of self-destruction on this earth. And mother earth is screaming right now. This is a warning. This is just a a tipping point of what she could do to us and what, Mm -hmm. what people who are not on their path and are busy fighting for the stupidest things and focusing, focusing on the stupidest things and allowing these, people in office who are doing this type of sorcery, they're allowing this to happen because they're off path. Their love, their strength, their faith is Mm. not strong enough. It's like right now, everyone is being exposed. If you are one of faith, you know for a fact that through all of this, you will be still and calm. Not one bit of anxiety will come to you because you know you will be okay. Through this entire Mm. thing, I have been nothing but calm. My roommate, who I have trained in spirit work, is as calm as can be. And she was she was in the military. She has PTSD. And none of this has been shifting us. We have been going with the flow of spirit. Mm. And that's what we need to do right now. We can't fight against it. We can't try to control this. This is being present and allowing spirit to come into our home, into our space, and we can flow with it. We're changing minute by minute right now. So all you can do is stay grounded and stay centered, knowing that the end of this is going to be okay. And through this, you are supported by your ancestors, your spiritual team, and that you're going to be all right. No need for panic because fear hinders us from everything. Mm. So the people just heard that the coronavirus is a reset because human is off path absolutely and it's a man it. virus we know that shit Ooh, so, got it we know that shit okay but i'm i'm not no scientist but what i'm saying is this is what spirit tells me but this was necessary because we are as a whole society is so off path like the things you see the things people talk about the things people focus on the things when they come to spirit they ask for the wrong things it's like why are you not focusing on building character why are you not focusing on being the best soul that you can be why are you not focusing on fixing yourself through your practice healing yourself through your practice instead of being so negative and judgmental and focusing on material things These material things mean nothing because at any moment, just like our freedom, we can be stripped of everything and you will only be left with your faith. What will you do then when you have no faith? You have nothing. You're done. Awesome. You know, I know we could do this forever, but that that's really not the movement that we're, we're making on this particular remote call. I know we were scheduled to have you in studio again soon. And, and as soon as it's feasible, we will definitely look forward to that. Mm-hmm. When, so yeah. absolutely. And I will, I want you to talk um, quickly. You got an event coming and we hope that um, it's still on, but you need to say what it is. So on May 2nd from 12 to 5 PM at the Lord Baltimore hotel, practitioners from all over the world will gather together to learn about other practices to commune, to pray, meditate, to um, share their ideas and ask questions. And people who are learning, who have no clue what any of this is, are more than welcome to come because we will have a panel discussion, a Q&A, and then we'll have workshops on the top floor in the penthouse. We'll have the witch market. So that's where all witchy entrepreneurs will be. And you can get all types of supplies and wellness products, as well as enjoy the Merlin Blaze tea line in the lounge. And there'll be an optional open, I'm sorry, optional cash bar 
and you have a full dining experience from hors d'oeuvres to the main course to dessert. It is per plate. It's a very elegant affair. It's brunch chic, uh, adults only. And right now the tickets are $65 per person. And we are still on um, as of now. Everything seems to be on. We're still getting ticket purchases. Everyone has faith that this will work. We have speakers coming in to talk about all types of deep, amazing spirit work and community work and African spirituality, as well as radical black parenting. Hello. She's Mm. coming from South Carolina to bring you this goodness. I love her dearly. And we have Baba speaking and I will also be speaking. I'm doing a presentation as well as leading the panel with my radio show. So, hey, it's going to be wonderful. And of Mm. course, Black Box Radio is our sponsor for the media. You're going to be there, right? Of course. We're going to be right there. This What's is gonna do they? This is epic. Epic. So we're going to be there for that. And um, we really appreciate you talking to us and putting, laying down your genius for the Rona Report because, you know, it's we definitely need to catalog b- Black voices during this significant event in history. Yeah, right now, like, just... Be easy and gentle with yourself. It's uncomfortable, and that's for a reason. Change is never comfortable, but it is necessary. So get into your divine practice. And also, I'll be posting lots of meditation and healing and reading to you throughout this time. So you can follow me on Facebook, uh, Lynette Williams, and Old School Bruja Official on Facebook. Instagram is the Lynette Williams and Oscar Bruja. Yes, that was Sounds the LWT great. right there. Go ahead, yeah. Thank you so much. And if you're listening now and you want to hear more from Lynette, we have a, a long, nice long conversation we had with her earlier. So make sure you go check that out at blackboxradio.com. That's B L A K B O X X R A D I O. And you can also find Black Box Radio on Instagram and Facebook at Black Box Radio. Okay, and we're going to um, post these on YouTube too, right, Jay? Yeah, the the um, Rona reports will be on the Black Box Radio YouTube channel, so uh, you'll be able to access access that from the website as well. So it'll be a good time. Yes, sir. Well, Miss um, Williams, you know every time you come through, it is epic. You always bring it and we appreciate you. Ashe. <laughs> <laughs> we really appreciate you and um hi T. I can't wait. Oh my god, I can't wait. I wanna know what you're wearing. <laughs> brunch <laughs> would you say brunch cheek? <laughs> That's what I'm wearing. <laughs> Whatever you that have, is. You have your brunch brunch cheeks out? Yeah, bruh. <laughs> yes. Brunch cheeks. <laughs> Messing with y'all. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Yo, this is the this is what we did with the old school brew, huh? Always a good time. This is the Rona Report. This is 32020. Um, this is Black Box Radio. And we out. Peace. <laughs>